Chidi Wigbe, Associate for Investment Banking from Diamond Bank, is standing by uh, to run us through the market performance. Chidi, what are your thoughts overall on the banking sector numbers we've seen coming through? Because First Bank, the latest bank to report, a hundred percent rise there in profit before tax. It seems that the numbers were very strong top line and bottom line. Uh, so what are your thoughts on, on the fact that we continue to see uh, strong fundamental results coming through that is fueling the rally on the market? Yeah, thank you, Samantha. Um, I think for the banking sector, you've always, um, you've always, you've always thought that the sector was always strong and, uh, uh, and robust. Um, coming from the 2010-2011 uh, era of, uh, of uh, bad loans, uh, where you had the Amcon acquire most of those risk assets from, from most of the banks. Um, we're seeing more improved results now, um, given most of the banks have, have shed off their um, uh, non-performing loans, uh, largely to, to the um, asset management company of Nigeria. I mean, earlier in the, earlier in the quarter, you saw uh, the likes of G2B, Zenit, uh, uh, and some of the other banks releasing their results. And though you had a delay, uh, a slight delay in First Bank releasing its results, um, it's, it's, you, see a result, you see the results have come out uh, much stronger than, than expected. Um, um, if you look at the MPL, the MPL line, I mean, you see that um, um, you know, we're returning to levels which, which, which were before the, um, um, the, the, the uh, non-performing loan crisis. Um, also, you see uh, First, City, First City Monument Bank as well, uh, which has come out strong. Um, it's it recorded improved year-on-year -year quarter, uh, quarter one numbers uh, uh, for 2012 from 2011. Uh, I mean, just looking at the NPL ratio for um, its year-end, you see a, a significant um, um, uh, impairment on its, on, its, on its risk assets of 28 billion. Um, if you compare that to the first quarter, which is just barely uh, over 500 million, um, and also compare that with quarter one as well, uh, 2011, which was about 1.2 billion, you tend to think the banks have, have settled in into their stride and uh, are looking to grow even much stronger. Clearly, you can see that also being reflected in the share prices. You can see that also is, um, being reflected yeah. in the demand uh, that you see in the market. Um, there's so been reported recently that uh, for more foreign, there's more foreign um, investment which has been flowing into the market as well. Obviously, this is also as a result of the improved performance of most of the uh, companies within the industry, um, banking industry, and also some other sectors as well. Let's uh, focus in on the top tier space and of course First Bank's results because uh, top line growth there, 42.5% uh, making 92 uh, billion Naira in the, uh, se in the first quarter of the year and that earnings growth we saw was a lot stronger than some of the other banks. So if you had to be putting your money into one top tier bank right now, which one would it be? I mean, First Bank, as <laughs> the name goes, um, you, 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 I mean, you, you can't get it wrong with First Bank. Um, it's, it's the age old bank. Um, um, it's, 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 it's over the years, it has shown strong, consistent performance. Um, like I said, you had the period between 2009 and um, uh, mid-2011 when the banks were challenged with their um, um, non-performing loans and uh, uh, some of their toxic assets. Um, but if, I mean, if you look at um, the performance of certain banks like uh, First Bank, GTB, over the years, I mean, they've returned strong, strong uh, returns to investors. Um, First Bank in particular, I mean, the, the results came out much more impressive than, 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 than most people expected. Yeah. Um, given that there were certain concerns about uh, certain of his, certain risk assets on, on his on his balance sheet, um, I think he's been able to manage those those assets well. And um, am, among some of, I mean, there was the the the, the, the ones which were critical, um, they've got them um, um, sold off to the uh, asset management uh, management company. And overall, I think they've recorded improved operating performance. So you tend to put, your, I mean, if you had if you had to put your money, you tend to look at First Bank as one of the stronger banks within which you can invest in. TD focus let's focus in on the building material sector divergent to the bullish trend we saw yesterday no price gains in fact Lafarge Wapco actually fell by 2.7 percent yesterday even as it reported uh, some really strong results profit before tax by up by 185 uh, percent that's for quarter one turnover up by 60 percent so top line and bottom line growth is coming through there but yet the stock uh, traded lower and it hasn't really uh, joined in the rally that we've seen so far this year why is that 
Um, well, I think um, for, for WAPCO, I mean, there's a, the, the sector obviously is, is led by um, uh, Dangote Cement. Um, you tend to think that the competition um, um, in, the, in that industry um, will, will sort of give investors concern about the prospect of Lafarge. But then again, if you look at the, 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 the strides that the, the, that the company has made in the last, uh, in the last month, uh, improving, improving their turnover um, and improving their production capacity. Um, also, there's been a stable uh, there's still been a stable comp there's been stable competitive price uh, for the for the uh, for the cement for cement products so um, I think investors are a bit wary um, if you ask me um, but then again I think with the strong showing that in which from the results they released recently I think you probably see a rally um, sometime later this week or, or I mean if not today or um, in the coming weeks yeah. um, Lafarge Wapco obviously is, is one of the leading is one of the leading brands in, in that sector um, um, so I mean, if you if you ask again, uh, uh, it's it's not it's it's. So a, what's the stock? Had, if I had my money, I'll put it in there. Yeah, let's uh, move on to so, the brewery sorry? sector. As you said, so watch that stock. But let's move on to the brewery sector because uh, Guinness is also a stock uh, that rallied yesterday up by 1.3 percent. We saw a quarter trading update coming through as well for them. Flat top line growth, uh, but uh, strong bottom line growth. Profit before tax up uh, 24 percent, 13.3 billion naira. Uh, it's going to get a new CEO. Senia Detu is the CEO of Ebel in East Africa. He's moving over to Guinness. Uh, your, your thoughts on the prospect for Guinness under new management? Yeah, um, I mean, on the prospect of Guinness, you, I mean, again, Guinness is, seems to be, uh, I won't use the word struggling, it seems to be um, 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 striving against competition from the leader in this sector, Nigerian breweries. Um, if you look at uh, some of the, rep if you look at the company's financials and also from the, um, uh, if you read it, its report, uh, you, you, you see that um, its more pricey products are being um, challenged by um, the, lead, the um, uh, Nigerian breweries products. Um, although the company is making strides in trying to improve its capacity given, that, given the competitive terrain, um, y y again, you have to wonder um, whether they have the strategy right. Um, Guinness has been around. It's an age-old name. Obviously, Diageo is, 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 is a parent company, and uh, you tend to think that the stock will be strong, and uh, the business uh, uh, for the company would, would, would eventually pick up. I think uh, they also had issues. Well, they also had uh, some expenses around uh, their marketing and distribution, which sort of have minimally eaten into some of their, uh, their operating performance. But overall, if you look at Guinness over the long run, you tend to think um, that it's, it's a stock what's investing in um, there may be challenges in the short term um, given the competition given competition but um, over the medium term you, it, it's, a, it's a strong stock and um, it, it, it's a buy if you ask me for longer term investors there Chidi thank you very much for joining us today on open exchange Chidi Wigbe associate for investment banking joining us from Diamond Bank